Hi, my name is Martin, and we're from California Polytechnic University, Pomona. And this is our third year competing with our bike here called the Spirit of Kevin. We made the, uh, the bamboo slur bike, uh, made completely out of bamboo, so we're pretty excited to be the only team here that's bamboo. Our vehicle is named, named Hachiko. It's a semi-recumbent bike, mostly made out of aluminum. We feel really, really great about the competition. Um, we hope to, you know, give it, give it our best shot. This year we had a better vehicle, a lot better than last year. It's lighter, it's uh, stronger, and we have uh, dri drivers that are more fit. If we don't win, it's, it's still a very valuable learning experience. Um, the, whatever we've developed thus far has been meaningful to each and every one of us. The lessons learned go beyond this competition itself, so it's a win-win situation either way. Very complex machines in some cases, some cases very simple, some with treads, some with wheels, some with hydraulic mechanisms to lift stuff and, and so on. They all have the same challenge. They have to do certain things, but they're just so different in the way they've approached them. Yeah, we started this design process about seven months ago. We went through the engineering process of preliminary design report and critical design review. We've been up this whole week very late trying to get our project done. The biggest thing that we failed at is we did not read the rules as clearly as we should have. Going from concept to manufacturing, I believe that was the hardest part for us. I've studied electronics, I've studied material science, and 3D design, and I think this has been a really good connection with everything. I'm only a freshman, so it's been a really good opportunity, because stuff I wouldn't have been able to do like until like my third year, getting in the workshop and everything. I've learned so much more about robotics from building this robot than I knew two months ago. Oh, E-Fest has been an outstanding event. Coming out here and seeing the ingenuity in their vehicles, their passion for the race, how they work hard night and day to make those vehicles run, it's just, it's, it's outstanding. I think the opportunities here for students to interact with each other face-to-face -face is critical. Uh, sometimes they don't get enough of that in their, in their academic experience, uh, the ability to work as part of a team. We really offer that extensively here at EFEST through our various competitions, through our networking events, through our social events. You know, creative work needs to be playful. It needs to be exploratory. You have to experiment. I love meeting all the different chapters from other universities because a lot of time in our little university I feel like our club is just the six members of ASME and I forget how much broader it is and so it's fun to meet all these other students who are equally as interested in mechanical engineering and as dedicated. Most of my experience has been with people in Utah and so getting to know people in California and New Mexico and you know, all these different places has been really cool. Everyone put in countless hours of training and weekends and no sleeping and I think it really paid off. I'm extremely proud of them. I can't believe how far they've come from the beginning. I don't think they can believe it. So my best piece of advice was remember the person that you're competing against the most is yourself. So focus on your team and your strengths and what it is that you can do and what you have worked hard for. Just work on making sure that your team is putting their best foot forward and they have the same goal. Defense, 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 defense.